Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to shoot a 360 video using your Vim app and your Ricoh camera. So let's get logged into the Vim app. Once you're logged into the Vim app, you want to make sure that you're on the correct dealership. So top left hand corner, there's going to be three lines. Click on that, then choose settings. From settings, midway down, there's an option to select a dealer. When you click on that, there's going to be a list of dealerships. Just look for the dealership that you're currently shooting at. We're going to use this dealership right here for this video shoot. Once you're done, top left hand corner, click that again, and then click on videos, which is on top. Now, once you're on videos on the top right hand corner, there's one thing that I like to click on just to make sure that I'm, I'm viewing the, the videos that are unsynced yet. So you'll see three dots in your top right hand corner. Click on that. Click on unsynced and that way you get to see the videos that have not been uploaded yet. You can also check to see how many videos you've done for the day. That's just a personal note on my behalf. So top right hand corner again, there's a record button. You have two options, video and 360 spin. This dealership, we're going to be doing 360 spin so that way you can use the Rico camera as well. Once you click on 360 spin, you'll notice there's a stock number option, VIN option, title, rooftop we've already selected rooftop and make default is already checked off so all you have to do from here on out is you have to scan the VIN so we're going to scan the VIN right now the VIN is best found in between the door jam driver's side it'll be on the, the door on the door jam or it'll be here or here or there in this case it's right here so we're going to scan that boom now you have the VIN highlight copy paste that into the title and for the stock number put whatever uh, the stock number is for for the vehicle so in this case it's the last six is the stock number I'm gonna type in the last six and I'm gonna choose the down arrow that gets that other screen away now for the title there are some people that use the stock number some people use the VIN number Per Vim, the company that makes the app, ClickFusion, they advise that something that has to be identif identifiable for the vehicle. So you can use the stock number or you can use the VIN, you could use the year, make, model. I choose to use the VIN because it's more efficient for us, plus it's correct. You can never go wrong with the VIN number. It's the actual vehicle. Stock numbers can be difficult. They can be uh, written down incorrectly by whoever stocked the vehicle in, typed in incorrectly. I go with VIN because you cannot go wrong with the VIN. So from here on out, now you, you have two different options. You can record through the app or you can browse and upload. Browse and upload means that you're going to use the video camera on the phone. We're going to use the video camera on the phone. Why? Because it's going to use the phone's uh, stability control. And that's what we want because this phone has an awesome stability control. That's what we're going to use. So we're going to tap on the home button. Now we're going to pull up our camera. We're going to go to the video mode. You're going to go to landscape mode and there's three options. You can use close up. You can use your regular or you can use wide angle. We're going to choose to use wide angle because of the space that we have. Now I find this vehicle shooting inside is probably just a tad bit dark. So I'm going to tap on that and you can use this to lighten it up a little bit. And you don't want too much on there. And now we're ready to record. So a couple things you want to keep in mind. I have the grid on here, the square grid that helps me to keep my item centered. Now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to hit the record button while I'm walking around. I'm going to constantly keep this vehicle centered in my frame. Once I keep it centered, it gives the vehicle an even outlook. And you want to make this video at least 45 seconds to a minute long. So watch your pace, watch how you're walking. And you'll notice while I'm walking, I'm walking slightly at an angle. I have my body twisted a bit and that's so you can hold the phone appropriately. So you just have to make sure that your surrounding is clear. You're not going to trip over anything. And you notice I'm not walking too fast. That also helps with the stability. And you're making a complete 360 walk around the entire vehicle. I started between the driver's side front door, driver's side rear door, that separation, that gap there, 
That's where I started, that's where I'm going to end. So you have a full 360 walk around, 50 knots one minute, stop. I have my video. Now I have my video, I'm gonna tap on the left hand uh, bottom here. That's an option where you can jump between apps. Go back to that app, browse. I'm gonna use my gallery. I'm gonna choose always and camera. Now here's my last video right here. So here's my last video, select. It said save successfully. Now there's a few options here. There's video, 360 spin, pano, and photo. I'm gonna choose pano. Now when I choose pano, at that point, you want to have your Rico camera on. So that way, the wireless signal could start transmitting and they'll connect. This process will already be set up on your phone, so you shouldn't have to do it. The minute you put your Rico camera on, you'll see on there, there's a Wi-Fi button, a wireless button that's there. Once you see that wireless button on, you know that it's connected to your phone. Plus your phone will also say it's connected. So now we're going to place our Rico camera inside the vehicle. The best place to put it is on the center armrest. Now this Rico camera has a front and it has a back. The best way to know that you're facing it correctly is the theta sign. So theta, something that looks like the eye there, is facing forward. In addition to that, these three buttons here should always be facing the passenger side. So I'm gonna center this. I'm gonna make sure it's not tilting forward, backward, left or right, it is centered and I have it facing correctly. Now you'll see here on the phone, it says connected. I'm gonna click on next. Now, this is where it says connecting to the camera. I normally leave the door open for this. I leave the door open so they can connect a bit faster. As soon as it's connected, it'll change from portrait to landscape mode. Once you're in landscape mode, you're actually able to see the camera. You're seeing the, the, the Ricoh camera in there. So I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna make sure I'm out of sight. There's two different ways you can do this. You can stay right here in between the pillars and you can stoop down, which is what I like to do because it gives it a better connection. Or you can go to the back and you can stand as long as you're out the way and you don't see yourself in there. You're gonna hit that red record button. It's gonna say panel image capturing. Screen is gonna go black. This is where you wanna wait. Now, once it says image downloading, I'm ready to open the door. I'm gonna take my Ricoh camera, have it in my hand. It's already captured, already transferred from Ricoh to the app. I'm turning this off. You wanna turn this off to save your battery. The, the way that you, I just did it, if you do that as well, you should be able to get at least 40 cars in for the day. If you don't do that, this battery is gonna go down fairly quickly. You may not even get 10 cars in for the day. As soon as I'm done, I'm gonna grab my protective tube, screw that back on, and in my pocket or bag, whatever it is that you're holding it in. Now, once I'm done, now I have my 360 spin checked off, my panel checked off. I'm gonna choose upload later. And the reason that I chose upload later is if you do it now, it's gonna drain your battery fairly quickly. In addition to that, it's gonna take forever to upload just one video. You wanna upload off of Wi Fi at the end of the day. So once you get home, then you wanna to connect to your Wi-Fi and you wanna upload there. Go ahead and upload this now so you can see what it looks like. Top, I'm sorry, top left-hand corner, you'll see a circle that's empty. Once you check that circle off, it gives you a check mark. Top right-hand corner, there's also a box that has the number one next to it with a check mark. If there are multiple videos, you can just hit that, check, that box on top right-hand corner. It will check mark all of your videos and then there's an arrow in your top right hand corner. Press that, it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna upload your videos? Click yes. Then it's starting to upload. And that's it. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.